Hello and welcome back to the new video of the Maven tutorial series. So till now uh, we have covered the theoretical section of this uh, crash course and now uh, from this video onwards we will uh, be actually doing some coding uh, stuff inside our uh, IDE and as I told you uh, this Maven uh, today uh, today's IDE comes with the inbuilt uh, Maven implementation Maven support so you can use any of the IDE like uh, IntelliJ IDE, VS Code IDE but uh, if you ask me uh, I would prefer you IntelliJ IDEA because it is uh, developed by JetBrains uh, which is one of the popular company and uh, I personally like uh, IntelliJ IDEA if, if I am doing some uh, stuff related uh, projects using Java okay so uh, I would also suggest you to download IntelliJ IDEA if you are following me and if you are if you want to follow this course okay so i'm assuming that uh, you are you have already downloaded intellij idea if not let me just quickly give you uh, over you how you can download it just come here and write download intellij idea if you hit enter uh, first link comes from jetbrains itself just click on it and you will get to the IntelliJ IDEA download page. Uh, now, uh, according to your operating system, you can choose anyone, either Windows, Mac OS, Linux. And I am currently now I am using Windows 11. So that's why I am uh, click on Windows. And there are two uh, editions of this IDE. One is Ultimate one, and one is Community Edition. Uh, so I will download the Community Edition because it is the free one and uh, open source also. And but the Ultimate one is the you get more features and 30 day trial trial also so if you want you can download but it is paid one you can compare all these uh, features that you get in a paid one and a free one also so go ahead and click on download uh, exe file or zip file whatever you want uh, it will start download it is around 700 mb uh, it depends upon your uh, download speed it will get downloaded and just go ahead and click next 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 your ide will get installed in your system okay i will doing cancel because I have downloaded already okay so assuming that you have downloaded this IDE and if you if you want to follow along this code uh, let's get let's go in our IDE and create our first Maven project okay all right let's go so I will come into my IDE first time if you are opening this uh, you will see one window like this uh, and there are no project here because since I work working along Java so there are some Java projects also and Kotlin projects also so ignore this one uh, you just click on uh, projects tab click on new project and you just have to uh, name your project right so I will write my first Maven app I will write just my first Maven okay so uh, select the location uh, wherever you want to store this uh, project so i generally paper uh, i will just go ahead into my desktop i will create one folder name as maven and inside that i will store my project okay uh, you can choose anywhere uh, anywhere you want uh, so the language of this uh, development is uh, java build system is maven remember build system to say selected as maven uh, and because we are working with maven itself and we need jdk so here uh, whatever jdk's which are installed in your system it will show all the jdk over here select whatever jdk you want uh, i will go with the latest one 19 and if if there is no jdk listed over here you can just go ahead and download the jdk and if there is any JDK downloaded, install downloaded and installed in your PC already, just go ahead and add JDK folder and give the path to the Intel GIDA where your JDK resides. Okay. Uh, I will just go with 19. Uh, add sample code. Okay. Add one settings. Uh, I don't need anything. Okay. And I will just hit create. All right. It is working let uh, let it finish it will download the plugins which are required for the maven project to run it is downloading here you can see the background task i will show you waiting for maven import com completion and the maven plugins will get downloaded okay uh, so if you are running this first time it will take time uh, some time let it be uh, uh, 
by the time i will give you the ide over you if you are using first time uh, so this is how the intellij idea looks like uh, here you have their project tab uh, where all the uh, directories are listed over here in a, such a beautiful manner you can switch uh, switch between this ide java or and here is our main file main java main dot java file where uh, our java code is written uh, just a simple hello world which is given by intellij idea itself uh, just to quick start our the development process and here is a project tab you can hide and unhide is uh, uh, so that you can get the more uh, view of this uh, your file uh, and after that uh, one more is one more thing is here you can see maven maven tab is there if you click on it it will show you all those life cycles uh, and the life cycles i hope you watched the previous video where we have discussed all those like uh, build life cycles clean validate compile test and i have uh, given you the theoretical uh, knowledge of that these all these life cycles also you can come and uh, i'll show you how to use this tab also uh, but first uh, i guess yeah it's over and plugins also here you can see clean compiler deploy install jar all these uh, plugins are also there we will have separate plugins video okay now uh, i guess the processing is done yeah our project is ready to go and uh, what we have done uh, is we have created our first project now we have to understand the dependencies okay so i hope you watched the previous video uh, where i discuss about how to add these dependencies and how dependent dependencies looks like how, what are the types of dependencies okay so let's go and create our first dependencies so if you recall uh, i have told you that uh, to create and dependencies or uh, to manage the dependencies or uh, you have one file called pom.xml okay so this is our maven project here you can see we have one pom.xml file just double click on it it will open that pom.xml file so since this is a uh, file extension is .xml so xml files contains the tags I, okay so these are the tags so, so the parent tag is the project one so under which all these uh, tags are written uh, so our parent tag is project under which model version is there uh, this is XML scheme namespace schemas uh, which are uh, written on in the web itself. If you go on, go on this uh, site, you can found all those schemas. And uh, group ID is there. Artifact ID for our project. Artifact ID is the project name itself, and version is given by the IntelliJ ID itself. Okay, and some properties of our project. All right. This is the uh, uh, file which is generated by the IntelliJ ID and given to us. So now if I want to create some uh, dependencies in my project, how can I add dependencies over here? Okay, so you see, uh, you just have to oh, wait a second. Uh, okay, so now uh, if you want to create some dependencies inside this, so there are many ways to create the dependency. One way is straightforward you can you just go here and write dependencies so it will create the dependencies tag and uh, after that uh, and one thing uh, we have the dependencies as our parent tag uh, inside which all those dependencies reside is, uh, is here as you can see a dependency is the parent tag under which dependency tag is there so we have to write the dependency tag okay we write dependency okay Okay, and uh, the thing because I love IntelliJ IDEA is this. It will automatically give me the group ID and artifact ID that I want to enter. So let's enter. Uh, let's create the Spring Framework uh, dependency for our project. Uh, I will write RTA artifact ID as Spring slash Spring SPRNG Spring slash Core. Okay uh let it be uh the version i will use this okay well, i'm getting error dependency uh the unique idea that okay, okay. it's fine uh so you see uh, this is the one way you can create the dependency you, you, you just you just need to go ahead and write start writing in this uh like if i write j unit uh that is one more uh, dependencies. Uh, wait, wait. Let me clear this out so that IntelliJ idea uh, get that we are writing this for the first time. 
uh, okay j j unit dependency this is our uh, this is our the uh, yes so i have i have added, added j unit dependency in my project okay so this is the one way you can uh, add the dependencies but here you have to uh, know the name of that artifact uh, artifact id means the dependency name to be precise and again the rest, rest of the things is easy it will automatically ship the cursor to the group id and come to the version and it would automatically add the scope here you can see i have not written the scope tag it, it has automatically added the scope telling the uh, maven that please use this j unit dependencies for my project uh, when to use in the test phase because j unit is a testing uh, related library or the tool okay so here you can see we have created one dependencies so now i will give you one uh, another way how you can uh, add the dependencies right so if you go to the uh, this code if you go into generate and it will if you go to the manage uh, dependency template uh, okay so it will give you the dependency template i don't know the template uh, i just need uh, wait a second manage dependencies okay so that's nothing to show i guess uh, wait 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 ah, okay so add dependency button is there if you click on it uh, it will show you the this tab uh, so our project name is there my first maven and only stable and now here, here you can see the search button is search bar is there you can search any framework that you want in your project over here uh, you just need to write spring if you want to use spring in your project and one more thing uh, these all implementation are done by the id intellij ida you don't have to uh, worry about it you just go ahead and uh, search the dependency name and again uh, if you want to search any dependencies uh, you just need to go and go to the maven repository repository uh, here you can see all these dependencies you can see uh, any dependencies that you want to search you just go here and light uh, spring okay and hit search spring context spring core all these dependencies will come and these uh, IntelliJ IDA is integrated this functionality inside their IDE so that you can come here and write the spring and get that spring if you want this spring uh, you can again you can uh, select the scope of this uh, IntelliJ IDA has given me the scope to compile so I will uh, set it as compile and again you have version you if you, you, you want to use the previous version you, you can go ahead and use previous version also I will go with the latest one or the IntelliJ IDA that uh, provided me and if I want this spring I have selected the version I am good to go and I will just click on add so after I click on add uh, this dependencies you can see these two tags are being added inside my uh, form.xml file okay so now uh, if this is the two way by which you can add the dependencies right so if i go ins inside my maven and if i go inside my life cycle and i will just click on install okay it will run my uh, maven command and you can see it, it is giving me the error i guess Co could not find the artifact okay so j unit uh, is not found i have to use that okay 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 wait a minute so i will just okay, remove this dependencies i guess right let it be Le okay so it doesn't find my dependency of that j unit okay i will click on install again now you can see uh, there is no folder right it will here you can see process finished with exit code one our build failure oh, why so i'm getting the errors oh, okay 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 wait a minute guys okay to rerun the maven using okay okay for more information oh, wait a minute guys i will get back okay so guys i have figured out the error uh, the error causing because the spring framework spring framework dependencies 
so that doesn't work uh, for that uh, let me just add uh, one more dependencies uh, so, so that you can uh, get what I'm trying to tell you J unit I will add the dependency of the J unit itself uh, let me go ahead and add okay it's getting added okay so okay fine now, now uh, you can see uh, inside my this my root folder uh, the, previously there are two uh, two uh, two folders okay uh, life cycle and plugin only but as soon as i uh, create this j, j unit dependency and and my reload and i reload my maven uh, maven project it will it, it has created one more folder named dependencies inside which uh, j unit dependency is there okay so you can see as i as i added j unit dependencies over here you, you can see j unit dependencies is also added in my maven deposit maven direct folder directory structure and if i uh, now if i go ahead and insert my life cycle and click on install uh, it should go ahead and get this dependency and install it and uh, yes build success target project is also created uh, a target folder is also created we'll see what is target we have a separate video on this uh, what are the classes and how the this actual works we'll see but for this video uh, i hope you got uh, some idea about this form.xml file how to add dependencies now one more thing if you want to delete the dependency if you just go inside this dependencies tab and uh, in future you want to delete this dependency you no more require junit inside your project you just go ahead and come here junit you, you click on the junit uh, you, you come over uh, three three dots and you have the remove you can remove and as soon as you click on this you just have to come here and load maven changes it will uh, reload your project and uh, see for the dep any dependencies got added or removed if this dependency as soon as i load my project that dependencies folder is uh, gone because no more dependencies are required for our project okay as soon as you add new dependencies new dependencies folder will get created over here so i hope you got uh, some idea how to add or manage the dependencies inside IntelliJ idea and what is pom.xml file and we'll continue this project we'll create one java project and i'll see you in one live demonstration of one by creating one project using maven okay so thank you for watching this video and i will see you in the next one